on my old school soul food family chef Jeffy back with another video. Hey y'all, I'm gonna take a little TV time out for my 30 minutes or less videos. I'm doing a favor, a big favor for a neighbor of mine that live. Matter of fact, two streets over from me. He's having a Bible study tonight. This is Monday night. They have Bible studies, you know, they pick a house in the area, you know, in the Bible study groups, and his house is tonight. And he asked me to make a meal for him, just to meet and have the side. And he wants some a little light smothered pork chops, pork ribs, or whatever. I said, are you serious? And some of you want to say, he said, yeah, the people that's coming over and really eat, and he really want to show them up really good, so if I could do that. He pretty much came to me last minute. He texted me last night, which was Sunday night. I said, yeah, no problem. I do it. Just had to meet over there around 2 o'clock. So it is back at 2.21. He was here exactly at 2 o'clock. So I need to get this ready. His Bible study started at 6 p.m. So I have plenty, plenty. I think it's 7 o'clock. Maybe 6 or 7. Anyway, this stuff will be ready by 6 o'clock anyway. He can pick it up. But he, let me tell you what he brought over. I washed his pork really, really good. I like to wash mine a little vinegar and water. I like to wash my pork really good. But he got a variety of things here. It's going to kind of cook differently, but I'm going to arrange it in the pan where it doesn't really matter. I got a big pan here. I'm going to put it all in this pan when I bring it. And I got some, he got some pork ribs here. Look like uh, pork, like, uh, I would call it short ribs. It was beef. He got some boneless uh, pork ribs here. Then he got one of my favorite down here in the bottom. Like some pork, uh, pork steaks right there. Those are the ones I'm going to have to put down on the bottom. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to show you a little procedure. But what I do here, I'm going to heat up some oil here. And I'm going to braise this off. Not braise this off. Brown this off in my uh, cast iron skillet. I'm going to brown them all off. Then I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to season them. I'm going to step off. I'm going to season them really, really good. Then I'm going to brown them off in my uh, cast iron skillet right here. Then I'm going to put them in the pan here. Same method, but it's just a lot of it. And uh, then I'm going to make my little onion gravy in the skillet, pour it over top of the beef, pour a little bit more water on them, body, add some chicken uh, base to it. Chicken base to really balance the flavor off of the pork. And braise it. It's going to take about, I want to have two hours on this to braise really, really slow. And I think he's going to serve it, he said, with peas, English peas, corn, and mashed potatoes. They're going to have some sleepy people at this Bible study. They're going to be eating good. But anyway, I'm going to show you the how I help my neighbors. Like I say, pass it forward. I'm telling this guy nothing. He, this guy is very awesome. He's just awesome people. And I love doing it. You know I love to cook. So, yeah, like I tell my neighbors in my neighborhood, most of them, if you give me a time notice, if I have the time, which I do a lot of time, if you let me know ahead of time, I'll make time some way in there. And just give me a notice and I'll... Do what I can to help you. So, anyway, I'm going to step off. I'm going to season this pork up. Get it all seasoned up really, really good. We're going to come back and we're going to sear it off and get this thing going. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Move this over just a little. Give you a little close-up there. And we're going to start searing these off, y'all. I got my pork all uh, seasoned up here. And I'm going to... Uh, it's just, even as I go, it's going to take a minute to do all these. I'm not cooking for one. I'm cooking for 25 people. That's even more than one of my crew is here. So, of course, I'm used to doing this. It's what I do, to do for a living, cooking for five, six hundred people, thousands of people. So, it's definitely no big deal. I'm going to use my little grocery bag method. There's always a somebody out there, usually some lady come in, me, uh, Doing stuff in a grocery bag is very unsanitary and dirty, which is not, but because I use the cleanest bag as possible. My mama used to use a paper bag, but the person out there that hates that, this is for you. Watch me shake it in this bag. I hope you get a really, 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 really enjoyment out of it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get this brown on both sides here. I got the pan here next to it. Like I said, I just want to get a nice sear on there. 
And usually, y'all, I would use my uh, Dutch oven. But this, I'm not cooking in the Dutch oven. I'm cooking in this pan. So I'm going to get a nice sear on it with my cast iron skillet. Because it generates the same amount of heat as the Dutch oven, but more even uh, faster temperature. Of course, all I want to do is just a little sear. I have so many, so I ain't going to have me here that long. I'm going to do a couple of them here to show y'all what I'm doing, and then we're going to go from there. Like I say, it's going to be very tricky in doing this because he have a whole different kinds of cuts for meats. He got uh, he got the uh, bonus, what that what I call bonus uh, uh, baby back ribs. He got the uh, pork, like pork short ribs. That's a name for it. I'm having a brain cramp, y'all. Then he got pork steaks in here. So he said he want them all smothered with onion gravy, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple more here, y'all, to show y'all. These are so pretty, and this stuff is going to be amazing. I already told him, he said, I think the name is Donnie. I said, Donnie, you know it's going to be one missing. He said, oh, yeah, I know. You got to do your samples. I told him I'm going to do a video on it. He said, yeah, he understands. We're gonna be feeding for 24 people instead of 25 and he lasts. But anyway, let me do one more here and I'm gonna step off here and I'll come back when they all sear it off. This one here is the bonus pork. Look at that. That's a nice cut of meat, y'all. I don't know exactly where he got these from. But you can't find these in the can't find these in a regular store like this, these cuts of pork. So I know exactly where he got them shop there religiously so anyway i'll be right back y'all when these are all seared off and we'll go to the next step be right back okay y'all we back i'm pretty much a little bit over halfway through the cooking i just want to show y'all here what i got see how pretty these are see how golden brown these are that's what i want these here about ready to turn over so that's the look i'm looking for y'all Beautiful cuts of meat. Like I say, you can't find these in the regular store. This cut of pork. This specially cut pork right here, y'all. Specially cut pork. And I think that's why he brought me to cook them, because he definitely want them, he want them cooked properly. So anyway, I'm gonna get them all cooked up here. And this gonna be some awesome. I can't wait to taste a piece of these, y'all. I might have to make me some corn and mashed potatoes and peas and, and two on my side. I'm definitely going to take half of one of these big long ones and half of my supper tonight. So anyway, I'll be back y'all here. I'm going to get them all seared off. Be right back. Okay, y'all. We are back on the final one here. Let's get these out. These right here. Something right there. This one right here. A lot of meat in here, y'all. Gotta be 30 pounds of meat right here. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, now y'all. I'm gonna throw these onions in here that I cut up. Can't have onion gravy without the onions, right? The onions down in there. Definitely gonna make me some. I always keep, you know, I always keep frozen vegetables in my freezer. I know I got some corn in there. I think I might have some sweet peas in there too. And I'm gonna make me some mashed potatoes. And then we're gonna have to have me one plate for me before he leave out of here. But we're making good time, y'all. It is almost 3 p.m., so hopefully I can get this in the oven by 3.10. It'll be ready by 5.36 o'clock easily. So I'm gonna slow, I'm gonna slow uh, braise these for, for two, two and a half hours. So we're gonna get the onions uh, going there. Got me some water here, got me some chicken stock. Got my flour left over in the bag, which some people hate to see me use the leftover flour to make gravy. But I don't know. Some people. You always got those on the, on social media. 
I can't say they think you know everything because I, I learn a lot from y'all, but some people make comments, I just shake my head and it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? If I take the same flour I braided the pork chops in and make the gravy, they think that is dirty flour. But like I said, I'll never understand those people. So anyway, I'm going to get this here cooked off here. Now I'm going to add my what we call the dirty flour. That's what I'm going to start calling this every time I I know the person is watching it. They can't, they just drive them nuts when I do this. Put this flour in here and it drives them nuts. They say, oh, you're using the dirty flour from the chicken or the pork chop. Okay, I'm using it. You see, I'm using this. I know it's driving you crazy. But anyway, I'm going to put the flour in here. I ain't going to put too much because remember, number one, I don't want a thick gravy. He don't want a thick gravy. He want a nice little, you know, sauce gravy that'll flow over the, I think he said he had mashed potatoes. Gravy that just flow over the potatoes. So I ain't gonna put too much flour because I have flour on the pork chops already. I'm gonna add my liquid to this. It's really, really, of course, I'm, this is not gonna be enough liquid, y'all, to, uh, to uh, to fill up this whole pan, but I'm going to add liquor later right at the end. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to put some, uh, get this stirred up in here. Alright, now I'm going to add my Worcestershire sauce, aka American soy sauce. I, I have a big jug sometimes. When I'm doing big big ones like this. I keep big jug of Worcestershire sauce. I use a lot of it. Okay. And now I'm going to add a little chicken base here. Like I say, chicken and pork balance is pretty much the same flavor, so it balances all. Put a little of that in there. And I can put this in there. I'm going to taste it because this stuff is salty. Not really, really salty. I don't have the saltiest one that come out. But it is salty. And after I kind of get this mixed up in here, I'm going to taste it. Clean up here, y'all. Got a splatter there where it irritates me. Splatter on my stove. So we're going to mix this up in here. Let me get my whisk here, y'all. Right tool for the job here, huh? I'll use the right tool. It'll go quicker. Whisk that up in there. That Chicken base, a nice ground sauce or gravy, however you want to say it. Okay, I think I got it all mixed up in there good. Now, I'm going to taste this first. I'm going to put some black pepper. Okay, get some black pepper in here. Only time you see me using black pepper is in gravy. Like I got a saying in my meeting grease, y'all, that I had, I got a video coming out this week. I just got a lot of footage. I need to cut some down and, you know, kind of edit it around. But you just know stuff about me you'll never see on video. That's why I encourage everybody, if I'm in your town and city, please come out. It costs you nothing. The food is on me. Um, that's why I try to, you know, Make it in a, I mean, safest place as possible. Some cities I go to, I've never been for before, so I try to make it as a central location. As I do more of these and I know the cities more, I'll uh, do it in other locations. And then, this is my, like I said, first time I did this meet and greet. As I do more of them, I start going to more smaller towns, rural towns. But this is more convenient because the plane lets me off and I can just be there in the big city. So, yeah. Okay, let me taste this here. A little salt and pepper today. A little bit more salt and pepper. There's a lot of pork I need to cook, y'all. Um, okay, let me taste it again here. Okay. 
in here. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Now, now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna taste, take this, taste this. Move this camera over here. Okay. Now I'm gonna pour this on here. Very careful here. Now, now what I'm gonna do? Put a little bit more water in here, like I told y'all. A little bit more water. You gotta bring out, break out your big pans. If you come to my meet and greets in probably Dallas, I know Katie here. You'll see the big pans out. I'm definitely gonna do it up into my own city. I'm gonna have something smothered, a couple of desserts. I have my spices to give away, some t-shirts, hats. It's gonna be a big deal. Okay, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cover this up, y'all, with foil. 350 degrees for two hours. I'm gonna seal it very, very good for two hours. When we come back, we're gonna have some falling off the bone. Ain't but ain't really ain't but a few of them got bones on it. All this meat is pretty much bone. The only thing the pork steak's got a bone in the middle. Other of it has no bones. So yeah, it's this is high quality pork. I, like I said, I know where he got it. I know where he got it cut from. So yeah, so I, I shop there too all the time. You don't get this in. You know, grocery store. You can't find this cuts of meat. So anyway, we'll be right back in about two or two and a half hours. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. And look what we got here, y'all. Let me get my little spoon here. To show y'all that goodness gravy right there. And these things are so tender. Let me show you something. Okay, just falling apart. See how tender those are? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's falling off the bone tender. Ain't no bone on it. Like I said, the only one that has a bone on them is uh is the uh, pork steaks that he did had cut. So what I'm gonna do, y'all? See that nice gravy? Ooh, sun splashed on me, y'all. I ain't got no shoes on. Y'all not cook without shoes. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let this cool down a little, and I'm gonna fix me a plate. So it took exactly two hours, y'all. It took me two hours. Exactly, I put it in at 3.13, and it is 5.13 right now. So, and I got uh, a few minutes to get it all cool and pan down back into his pans, and uh, he can pick them up at six o'clock. See, that was very easy, very simple, y'all. For my neighbors, there's nothing like smothered pork, y'all. So anyway, I'm gonna be back. I got me some peas and corn and uh, mashed potatoes made. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make me a plate. We're gonna see how these is. I'm having this for dinner tonight. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. I let this cool down a lot here. Let me show y'all here what I got. Look at that. I got my gravy come out of the pork chops there. I'm saying pork chops, really pork <laughs> steaks, chops, everything. Got my peas. I like to mix my peas with my corn. We're gonna give it a taste here. Got me a little hot sauce here. Matter of fact, he just picked up the rest of the pork chop. That's why it took me a while to get back to my video. He just left with him, so I told him to have a blessed time. So anyway, let's try this. You don't even need a knife for this, y'all. It's spark tender. Look at this. Look at this here. Give me a little mashed potato with that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Mmm. 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 So tender. Mmm. This is comfort food and will put you to sleep. It will put you in a coma <coughs> for hours after you eat a plate of food like this. So, like I told him, I don't know if they eat eating before or after the Bible study. Okay, you feed them before the Bible study, people going to be sleeping during the Bible study. So, <laughs> they say they're going to eat afterwards. So, if, in that case, if you smell these pork chop, pork cooked in the kitchen or wherever you put it, warming up or heating up, 
They're going to rush through the Bible study tonight. I always have them laughing. But anyway, just another way I like helping my neighbors, y'all. They help me out a lot, too. Like I said, a lot of things I don't put on camera and people don't put on camera. Where we help each other. And I let no one go hungry in my neighborhood. If I know anyone, I'm definitely going to go on my way to, you know, help somebody or feed them. That's just the way I am. So, anyway, I just want to share this little video with y'all. Do a little little sway away from my 30-minute meal. This takes longer than 30 minutes. It took two and a half hours. But I'll be back in the next video with my meals in 30 minutes or less. So, anyway... If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag, I, I don't only talk the talk, I walk the walk. 2021, help somebody out there, y'all. You might just be, somebody might be on their last leg and last last hope in life and you can just give them a word of encouragement and can change that in a minute's notice that's how it works it don't mean just going out doing something physically for somebody help somebody you can just verbally help somebody and you're amazing how much of a difference you make in somebody's life just by some little word of encouragement for somebody going through something very very tough so anyway until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.